Okay, so this bottom section here, this is where the mold goes. This is the mold here. You can see it's got a little, uh, so you can see it's got a little hook thing there. This is the mold. And then we just push it in and we start stamping. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to have a look at this. So at the moment it has five Allen keys. We're hoping to get a sixth one. Yeah, but you will need five of them uh, in order for this to work well. Okay, so there is my mold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to undo those Allen keys and I just back them off, each of them off a little bit, loosen them up, bang, 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 and then I switch to the long end and I can do that really nice and quickly. Yeah, so we want to be reasonably efficient about this. We can't afford to waste a lot of time. Okay, and there is the mold. Yeah, so you can see the uh, the mold in the disc where it's going to make our yo-yo. Yeah, so it compresses or pressurizes um, liquid plastic into that mold and makes our yo-yo. Okay, so I'm just going to do that up again. So again, just using the short side of the Allen key to get it nice and quick. Okay, and just using the short side of the Allen key to make sure all those are really tight. You don't want them loose. If they're loose, the pressure that should be pressurizing the internal of it and uh, making our yo-yo, um, our polyethylene plastic, making it kind of get into all the nooks and crannies, that pressure will be leaking out. We do not want that. So make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, so we really can't emphasize that enough. Make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, so now we're going to pick up that mold. Pop it on there. Be careful. Remember hot surface. You can see some of the plastic dripping down on the inside. Okay, so just be careful. Now we just push that in. We don't push it in all the way. What we do first is we're just going to Grab that lever at the top, and we're going to just dab it down onto the mold, just to get rid of some of the plastic that had been leaking out, and take that lever back up. And then push that mold the rest of the way in. Okay, now we need to fill the hopper. The hopper is this bit here. We're going to fill it up with some powder, our chosen color. Okay, I just used my little trowel and I put some powder in the hopper. So all I need to do is be quite careful. If you break this hopper, it's actually quite painful to replace it. So be careful. Um, so now we've got some powder in there. The temperature is correct. It's at 230 degrees. It actually took quite a while to get that up there. So make sure you turn that on nice and early in the process. Okay, we have the... Uh, the mold ready to go. We've got the hopper nice and ready to go. It's at the correct temperature. We are ready to use this. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull down on that big handle and we're going to give it two big kind of heaves. Okay, so two decent heaves. I'm going to push that down and it pushes onto the mold nice and firm and then bring it back up. Now the powder should automatically go into the hopper again, but if it doesn't, you can just give it a little bit of encouragement. Remember, be gentle, don't break this hopper. And we're going to give it a second push. And this one will be harder, you won't find this as easy, as easy and that's to be expected. Give it some good pressure, really give it some gas, and that should be ready to go. Okay, now we're going to pull out the mold. You probably want to let this cool off. Yeah, so we're just going to bring it out. Bring it out from in here. There it goes. Now, it may be a little bit hot because it's had that really hot surface, that injection molder tip right on it. So it could be a little bit hot. So just give it a, a test. It cools down reasonably quickly, but just want to test it out. Don't burn yourself. 
Okay, now we're just going to eject the mold. So I undo my Allen keys, just back them off a wee bit, you remember, with the short side of the Allen key, which gives us nice, good power, and then switch to the long side to get the speed. Okay, so nice and quickly. Okay, so I've got those Allen keys out. Throw those Allen bolts, Allen keys, Allen bolts, not sure. And I'm going to take off the mold. There it goes, gorgeous. Okay, and we just need to pop that out of the mold and we are ready to go. One thing you might need to do, you see how there's a little nub of plastic in there? What you might need to do is get something a bit sharper, maybe a screwdriver. We need to kind of get that out of there, or if we can't, at least weaken it, because that is going to make it difficult for us to pop that mold out, okay? So just watch out for that. We might need to uh, get in there with a screwdriver and kind of loosen that up. Just wanted to have a look at that fine quality. Look at it, lovely. Okay, now I've got a bit of distortion at the edges. That could be because I didn't give it enough pressure. Yeah, it didn't pull down on that handle hard enough. Um, or potentially my Allen key bolt things were not tight enough. Okay, so these are things that we have to be aware of when we're ensuring good quality. Okay, I did this again and check the quality very nice very nice indeed pretty happy with that okay if you're at the end of the period make sure you turn off the machine make sure you clean it up there shouldn't be any rubbish around yep tools back in the box box back on the shelf power cord take it down Put it back. Thank you very much.